Well, we know the sordid details, right? Back in July, Kristen Stewart admitted to cheating on Robert Pattinson with married director Rupert Sanders. She was called every name in the book by fans and foes. Robert Pattinson reportedly left her, moving out of their home. But by October, the whispers of a reunion started turning into bona fide reports. But Kristen and Robert have never said a word until now, kind of. In back-to-back -back Today Show interviews yesterday and this morning, Kristen and Robert were asked point-blank about the status of their relationship. So yesterday I asked Kristen Stewart if you two had gotten back together. Did, did you see what she said? Uh, no, what did she say? She said, keep them guessing. Keep who guessing? That's what my question is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you. I'm, what I want to ask, because we get asked it all the time, and it's funny, because everyone always asks for like four years. <laughs> It's like, who is actually asking? Is it in your contract? <laughs> yes, it is. Kristen, you have so many fans, and they will be mad at us if we don't ask you, and they follow your life, and they want to know, are you back together with Robert Pattinson? Honey, you mentioned that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let people watch whatever little movie they would like to think our lives are and go for it, you know. Keep them guessing, I would say. <laughs> Okay, so that takes care of that, right? Right. Well, now I am joined by a man who may be the one to crack this dilemma here in New York tonight, the brand new co-host of E! News, Terrence Jenkins. Good to have you here, Terrence. How are you? Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, look, Kristen and Robert didn't really say anything there. Do you think that they're now at a point where they're just ticking fans off with all this mystery? I think so. I mean, they're, they're being mysterious right now. The big movie comes out really soon, and, and I think it's, they're just playing into it. Uh, for me, I'm a big fan of the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, so just <laughs> lie to me. Tell me after the film comes out. Let me go into the theaters with the mystery surrounding it. Uh, you're going to love the new movie that Alec Baldwin is in if you love The Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, but that's Absolutely. a whole separate film. I honestly expected their non-answers. I mean, what were they going to say, right? We know exactly. how this works. But I couldn't help but notice how incredibly uncomfortable they looked, particularly Kristen. I'm thinking if they actually were back together, they certainly would have looked happier, even if they weren't going to cop to the relationship, wouldn't you think? Yeah, it, it, to, if I gave my opinion, which counts for nothing, but if I gave my opinion, it looks like it's still a rocky road. You know, when, when, when there's love there, it's going to exude through your pores. And uh, I, I just see them wanting to promote this film and, and a little uncomfortable around the question. So uh, we'll see how this plays out. Yeah. But I, I love going into the movie not knowing. The, the look on Kristen's face was kind of like, oh, really? Do I have to deal with this exactly. yet again? Uh, yes, you do. It's just part of the gig. It's You're part of the job. It, it is in our contract. We're going to ask the questions. Yes, we are required to do so. All right, Terrence, thank you so much. Hey, and congratulations again on joining the E! News team with one of my favorite people, Juliana. Big fan of yours, AJ. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Terrence. Well, we all got blindsided by Heidi Klum.